right? For example, uh, nitrogen has two isotopes, okay? An isotope is um, an atom that has a specific number of uh, protons and, and, uh, and neutrons, okay? So nitrogen um, has seven protons and I, if I'm talking about the isotope that has seven neutrons, it will have a mass number of 14, okay? So that's one isotope. Another isotope of nitrogen that naturally occurs in nature um, has eight neutrons, and that would give it a mass number of 15, right? These are the two isotopes of nitrogen that exist in nature, all right? So nitrogen 14 has a mass of 14.00307 um, grams uh, per mole. That's its molar mass. Right? The other isotope, iso uh, 15, it has a mass of 15.00011 grams per mole. Okay, um, and what we want to find is the, um, the, the atomic mass. What is the atomic mass of nitrogen? Okay, and I, I have only those two isotopes. What do I need to know? Well, those are my physical weights of the isotopes. What I need to know is how many of each one there are. That would be my mathematical weight um, so that I can average those. Because if I just took those, divided by two, add them up, divide by two, that would assume I have 50% nitrogen 14, 50% nitrogen 15. It's an equal weight. But if they have an unequal weight, as in these examples, um, here, then I need to take that into account, okay? And so what we need in, uh, in chemistry for that is the abundance. In other words, how much nitrogen um, is nitrogen-14 in nature and how much is nitrogen-15, okay? So I can say that um, 99.63% of all the nitrogen that occurs in nature is nitrogen-14, okay? The remainder, that, uh, that last 0.37% is nitrogen-15, okay? So what is the atomic mass? The atomic mass is just the average weight of all of, uh, of the nitrogen in nature. So here's my mathematical weight for this uh, physical weight. Here's my mathematical weight for this one. So we know it's going to be close to 14 because the vast majority of nitrogen is nitrogen 14. But I have a little bit of nitrogen 15 that will increase the weight, um, the overall atomic mass, um, a little bit. Um, and and we, can, we can look at this either grams per mole or AMU for our purposes here, um, it won't make um, any difference, okay? Because we're not going to be converting between grams and moles, so we can call that just AMU. All right. So um, so let's let's find the weighted average, the atomic mass. Okay. So here's my weight, um, but I want to express this as a, a decimal. It will simplify our calculations. So instead of saying 99%, I'm going to say out of 1, it'll be, I just moved the decimal over, 0 0.9963. Okay? Um, so that's my weight for the uh, first one, just like here. And then for the mass, 14.00307. Um, and I'm going to say AMU, okay? Now, what about the weight of the second one? I do the same thing there, plus its weight of 0 0.0037. Remember, I'm 
expressing this as a decimal, so I divide by 100, times its mass, which is 15.00011 AMU. Okay? And then I'm going to divide that by the total weight, the total mathematical weight for all of those. And that's where it simplifies it a little bit because when I've taken this out of a percentage, it's now a decimal that adds up to 1. 0.9963 and 0 0.0037 add up to 1, 100%. So that's where percent abundance, uh, it makes it nicer. If I didn't have, um, well, yeah, we, we always have percent abundance. Um, that's usually how we talk about. So we just convert that to a fractional abundance. What I've done here, just putting that as a fraction of one. Um, and so they add up to one. So when I divide, it's just going to be divided by one. So I don't need to show that. Okay. So I just put this in the calculator and, um, and I should get my atomic weight. 0.9963 times 14.00307 plus 0 0.0037 times 15.00011. And there is my atomic mass for nitrogen, the average, the weighted average of both of those isotopes. 14, remember this is times 10 to the 1 in my calculator, so that's 14.00 um, six, seven, six, um, and I have, let's see, if I, yeah, um, the, uh, the significant figures on this, um, this is actually only two significant figures when I multiply that. Um, and here I have uh, four significant figures when I multiply that. Um, but then I'm adding. Okay, so I could, could uh, calculate that out. Why don't I do that just for some extra practice? Um, let me look at this in, in part. So this is practice with significant figures. 0 0.003 7 times 15.00011, okay? So here I have 0 0.0555, okay? At two significant figures. That means I have three decimal places, okay? Um, that's, I'm finding that because when I'm adding and subtracting numbers, I go with the number of decimal places. So here, 0.9963, that's going to be close to 14, so it'll be uh, 14, and then um, I'll have two more decimal places to give me my four significant figures. So when I add those two numbers, I'm going to round to two decimal places. So that's how we would do that. So I would get this to 14.01 um, AMU, and this is the atomic mass of nitrogen that you see on the periodic table, okay? So the more precisely we know these abundances, um, that's what's limiting our significant figures. If we knew those abundances a little bit more precisely, we could find the atomic mass a little bit more precisely. And in fact, that is why every year, um, you know, they come out with an updated periodic table because every year they are able to refine some of the um, percent abundances for the different elements, or maybe they can determine the mass a little bit more precisely, and therefore they can get another significant figure out of that, and uh, the value changes slightly. So anyway, that's how we calculate the um, atomic mass. It's just a simple weighted average um, of the weights for each individual isotope of an atom.